and so. do it right. If we're going to do it, we're, yeah. we're going to do it right. We need you coming home with you know, psychedelic <laughs> hair. That's going to be right last a kind of blue. <laughs> well, Eli Jones leads things off, and the first pitch from Hunter <laughs> Neppel is in there for a strike. This is a big fella on the mound. Yeah. Big old right-hander out there. Hunter Neppel, big Peyton Manning fan, chicken fried steak. Welcome to Nebraska, folks. I love it. Thanks to Hunt, Fish, and watch ESPN. The leader on the ground to second. And that's an out for Jude McCoy. So one and up, one man down. It's a tough field today because the game prior was played so well. We saw a we saw a 3-6-4 double play. First baseman, shortstop. Second, Second baseman base. covers. We saw a 6 4 3 double like play. No, 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 no. No, first baseman came off the back. Second baseman sprinted over and covered to okay. finish the double play. Okay. First time I've ever written it in my book. I know that for a fact. Probably. <laughs> hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball. Sort of. Logan Roush, the right fielder, fouls that one off. East Lake in the regional. They won all four. They were really good. They beat Oregon 5-zip. They beat Alaska 6-zip. That was a forfeit game. Montana 10-4, Oregon 2-1. Got Logan's dad down there at first base. So he's got a keen interest in this at bat. That one is caught by the first baseman. Oh. Owen Ablett reached out and touched it. There are advantages to being right-handed, left-handed in some places. Right-handed first baseman probably doesn't make that play. Left-handed first baseman, the glove of Owen Ablett. Down close to this play right away. Reaches out, full extension, two quick outs on four pitches to start this one for Hunter Neppel. Number three hitter is Kellen Kinney. He swings at one high, 5'8", 125. Got a big split grip. He had a huge home run in regionals to kick them off and see his hands split. A lot of times that's emphasized the top hand, but <laughs> he crushed that home run. It was more the bottom hand ball, ball. getting underneath it. He's got a beautiful swing, one of the best hitters in this Washington lineup. Really unique to see that. Yeah. For a power hitter, you might see it for someone that's just really trying to get more contact, hit the ball on the ground. Who hits the ball on the ground anymore? <laughs> that's why you don't see it. That's why 18 of them in the first yeah, game. Our first game, actually, everybody hit a ground ball. <laughs> Zero errors, 18 ground ball out. Seriously. Oh, it's phenomenal. No errors. Z no, no errors. Zun, that's what that. I was going to say, but that's not a word. This Zun. is Powbell. Sister gave him the nickname. We're going to stick with it. That's strike three. Hunter Nepple. Get yourself a little chicken fried steak. <laughs> All right, then. Two outs, about two hours and seven minutes from my house. Just, showing just you out read. there a few months ago. You know what we should do? I got an idea. We should meet the kids good from Hastings. Here really they are. My name is Brayden Dyer, and my favorite food is ribs. My name is Jude Johnson, and my favorite actor is Adam Sandler. My name is Caleb Reiners, and my favorite baseball player is Francisco Lindor. My name is Cohen Rader, and my favorite baseball team is the Atlanta Braves. My name is Owen Ablett, and my favorite emoji is the laughing, crying one. My name is Jim McCoy, and my favorite team is the Los Angeles Angels. My name is Owen Brown, and my favorite athlete is Salvador Perez. My name is Peyton Drake, and my favorite subject in school is PE. My name is Hunter Neppel, and my favorite band is ACDC. My name is Ben Wobles, and my favorite actor is Adam Sandler. A little shook me all night long, a little ACDC. Like it? Hey, gotta be loud over here. Okay, gotta be. I agree with that. ACDC was loud. That's Dustin Rader. He's the manager. Team's got 10 players with about eight leaders. And maybe it's 10 leaders. Loves the makeup yeah, of the team. I like team. that umpire back there yelling, and the guy thought it was a strike, and he's like, no, it's a ball. I'm just loud. <laughs> Dustin Rader, he is a pleasure to talk to. We spent some time with him yesterday. He just absolutely hey, loves what he does. He's got shirts made up. Say you be you. That's what the motto of the entire team has been along the way. Don't worry about the other team, worry about yourself. So Sanath Chari, who we've seen on this field once, throws a first pitch strike. He we were talking about it. He was out there, big left hander, and his numbers, his strikeouts to walks and regionals were outstanding. Had a tight zone the first time he was out, but when it's in the zone, it's not easy to find because when he lets it go, it looks like it's right on top of it. Ball. A little high, so one ball, one strike. If you'll he love, you'll love this. His favorite player, and we've heard just a variety, right? His favorite player 
Sandy Colfax. How cool is that? How yeah. cool is that? A little respect for the lefty from lefty. Yeah. And if you're going to like a left-handed pitcher, he's right We're near different. the top. Someone's been educating him in the history of the game. He was looking up people 5'10", and Colfax's name came up, and he starts this game off with a strikeout of Owen Ablett. His nickname is Lefty Lightning. Now, of course, Louisiana Lightning is another great lefty, Ron Guidry, but we're going to go Colfax, and so we're going high cheddar. Not bad. Just go elevate that fastball. And, and you got to think, too, for Sanat, who's been out there before, struggled a little bit with his command, but he's been out there. So it's not new for him to run out in this environment and in this setting. Good start right there. Cohen Raider, 12-year-old, 5'10". Oh. That one's down, 1-0. One oh. The shortstop on this team, Coco's the nickname. Teacher in the third grade, he liked Coco Puffs, so we're going to go with that. <laughs> uh, let's just play that game. Yeah. Your favorite cereal is your nickname the rest of the night. So yours would be? Uh, I would be Captain Crunch. Probably. Really? Yeah. Peanut butter or regular? Oh, gosh. Reg peanut butter? Regular. Uh, one ball. One okay. start. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's a long one. Which one? CTC. Cinnamon Toast Crunch? Crunch? Yeah. All right. I like that. What about you there? Not not bacon. There's no bacon cereal. Well, there probably is, but... Let's just stick with that. Frosted right. Tony the Tiger. <laughs> we got a 1-2 count on the way to Raider. That's fouled off at the plate. Jackson Here we go. Wheeler. My, my question of peanut butter or not peanut butter did not really require the immediate response that you had. Oh, it absolutely did. And very fact, legitimate. It was question. confirmed by the producer who uttered something I won't say on TV <laughs> about peanut butter. <laughs> Oh. Captain Crunch. We take so many foods and we ruin them by changing them. <laughs> oh. That just missed. You know what they don't do that with? Frosted flakes. Bacon. <laughs> Two two. Oh. Ooh boy. Uh, Sanath is having some, some bad flashbacks. Pretty good pitch oh, for the big good number 2-7 on the mound. Now we go full two, three, 3 and 2. Three. Raider to right. Logan Roush right there. Tough pitch huh? right on the hands of Cohen Raider. How's the big fella doing? Got a little, he got a little rain today and now he's just basking in an 84 degree sunset. Mighty Casey. I think his favorite cereal was peanut butter, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Probably weren't creating that back with the mighty case for swinging the lumber. Good swing and strike one. Hunter Nepple had his eyes, I think, on mighty Casey when he finished <laughs> that at bat. He hit it about halfway there last time, about halfway up the hill at least. Yeah. Three run home run to tie it in the sixth. Challenged here on a line to the shortstop, Eli Jones. Well, feels a lot like our first game. And the head coach, Raider, gives Sanoff Cherry a fist bump on the way by. Good play. We are off on the ESPN Kids Cat. It is not around. A two-run shot. I play a game called Clash Royale every day. Really? Both cowgirls representing our state. So many followers right now. What's your max bench? I don't think I've ever been pressed in my life. Kids are going to call the game. They're so excited to be they here. They should be excited. What an yeah, opportunity. Opportunity is right. We'll follow up last night with a game tomorrow night. They will call the Little League game at 7.30 Eastern time. We'll be watching and enjoying Kyle's chicken wings that he's got to grill a little bit. Looking forward to that night. Sanath Chari leads off our second inning. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Frosted Flakes. Oh! On the ground and an easy one at first for Owen Ablett. We've had just about everything here with regards to weather, but it's hard to beat the postcard that is tonight. Look at that shot right there. You take that photograph, go black and white, you could be 1951. Yeah. Beautiful. 
You pull up one of those lawn chairs. I mean, who doesn't? Exactly that right. Is the view of the night. You take the shoes off, let those toes dangle in the uh, grass as it gets a little cooler as the night progresses. You do that in Nebraska, right? Yeah, people you're big, go you're, barefoot sometimes. You're yeah. a big barefoot guy. I can you, see that. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about doing it for the fourth, fifth, and sixth. Perfect. Right here. We know this. In that bag of yours, you have toenail clippers, so use those. Then you can take the shoes off. Can I switch chairs? <laughs> <laughs> Kyle shared everything inside his little travel bag and it's everything but the kitchen sink. Never know. Oh. Two balls and a strike to James Ort, the third hockey guy, and the first baseman on this team. Starting early. Starting like <laughs> like early. 2-2 Two -two to James. And thought oh. about it, and then he wisely laid off. So it was this team from Nebraska Hastings that was sitting down the first baseline. Right back to the pitcher, Nepple. Big glove, good throw. They were sitting right down the first baseline last night at the Little League Classic. And in the first, second, and third rows. And the biggest player on the Indians stood next to them to talk. And Fran Mill Reyes looked like Shrek. Like they, <laughs> they were looking up at a giant. They were just shocked at how big that guy was. And he sent sent them some high five. He talked to them in the middle of the game. Really neat experience for these kids. As that ball is fouled off from Nebraska. All right. <clears throat> Did you see that shot of the dugout? Logan Roush hit second in this lineup. Second. We're on the fifth hitter right now. We've got helmet on, batting gloves on, elbow guard on, everything ready to like. If we blow through the next six guys, he is ready to go right now. I loved it. So I had him in regionals, and he was like, so my nickname's Little Logie, and I hit singles. And he was so <laughs> proud of the fact that this is what I do. Everyone talks about the home runs. I'm just going to get your singles. I'm just going to get on base. <laughs> What's up? Like, Putting your yes. cleats on as soon as you wake up. Yeah. At seven at night. Sleeping in your jersey. I mean, he's ready. Here goes Sewell. T on the left fielder. It's one ball, two strikes. Boom. Go, go and out. Choking up. State champion downhill skier. You talk about multi sports. Ooh. He's gone like that. Maybe we get a little. A little snow here in the winter, and Sewell comes back. Instead of sledding down in some cardboard, we break out the poles and the skis. Right now, Nepple's just blowing some heat by guys. Two strikeouts. Owen Brown wears four of these clover underwear. I don't wash them until we lose with them. And that's how. We've been going. My mom hates it, but I don't really care. A lot to like about it. <laughs> Gotta be be you. You be you. <laughs> I never heard of four leaf clover underwear. There's at least one pair. <laughs> well, here's Owen Brown. He of the Lucky underwear, and that's down for ball one. And Walter Steinbach stretching out there at second base. He's ready in case the ball is hit his way. Charging in like Pedroia, but it's pulled foul down the third baseline. Strikes and swings. It's been a theme so far at this Little League World Series. Not a whole bunch of walks. Ball's in play. Defense has shined. Good rip at it from Owen Brown. He's a 5'5", 127 pounder.
his favorite baseball player. He says it's Salvador Perez because Salvador is like Owen as opposed to the other way around. <laughs> oh. Salvi would love that, too. Yeah, oh, he, he would, would love it. it. He'd be right. like, one day, one day he'll be like you. Both catchers, similar batting stance. Scratched that bat on the shoulder before he lifts it off. And the 2-2. Two -two. Three balls, two strikes. That ball is hammered to left center field. Kinney goes back, won't get it. Base of the wall, and Salvador Perez will be proud. The double for Owen Brown. And the lucky underwear pays off. Four leaf clovers. Always does, Rav. <laughs> Look at the location of this one, going down and in. Just throwing the barrel. The way he just literally throws the barrel at this ball, why he gets the explosion off the bat. We're talking two hops, one hop off the wall, and a nice double to lead off for Nebraska. Following that act is Jude McCoy. Good pitch, strike one. He got a chance to see his favorite athlete. It's pretty cool, right? Mike Trout's my favorite athlete. Oh, that's right. He's going to be there. Yeah, I, was, I was talking with some of the people from MLB, and they were like, so Mike didn't want to leave. Like, he literally, when he came over to this stadium, he wanted, okay, so I heard about the Grove. Can you take me there? Can I see where the kids are staying? Take me to the dorm. Like, wherever he could go, he wanted to be there. Yep. Breaking pitch, one ball, two strikes. Now, you could tell in his... His uh, graciousness to spend so much time with us twice. He came on the Baseball Tonight Show with us for another 10 minutes. But he sat here for a long time during that rain delay. And you could just see him looking around, drinking it all in, observing. Oh, I was watching that. And I mean, he, he was, you could tell that it was as genuine as it could possibly be. Um, and we hear it from those guys when they get here. But he hung out with you guys for 15 or 20 minutes yeah. out here. Beckham Aaron changed a lot of things yeah. for Mike Trout. There you go, strikeout. You're on the team! Second strikeout for Chari. Hey, want to play Little League? It's so easy. Visit playlittleleague.org, enter your address to find a Little League program near you, and then you're in. Grab a bat, grab a ball. One of the great Little League players of all time, Monet Davis, be part of the kids cast. Crazy good at the Mid-Atlantic Regional, and then, of course, showed everybody on the biggest stage how skilled she was. But just watching that video go. last night of her throwing in yes. 2014, you reminded me, like, you dominated. I mean, yeah. you came here and you dominated. It was cool talking to Ella Bruning, who was a catcher for Texas, when she got to meet Monet Davis here. And honestly, a lot of the young boys that are here, we've heard them say, hey, I'm playing baseball because of Monet Davis. I mean... I can't tell you how that makes me feel as a, as a female athlete that always said, oh, it was this male athlete that I looked up to, yeah. to see it in the reverse. Uh, absolutely right. And Mike Trout, you remember her? Oh. Yeah, of course I remember her. I, Rev, do you remember a kid, any kid, having as much impact on this event or nationally than Mode did? I, I cannot. There hasn't been one. Yeah. No, not at the Little League Jeff, level, not somebody that took the event and then obviously outside the borders of Pennsylvania, the nation. Yeah. And it became a, you know, I don't, don't want to overstate it, but it was something that people knew across the globe. Like Monet Davis's name was on the Today Show and Good Morning America and magazines. Like that was a thing for about two weeks. She's still playing. That's what I love. She just lights up talking about playing shortstop. Hampton University. That's a good pitch. Strike three. Punched out. Ben Wibbles is gone. So, Kyle, just remember, I mean, this is, it brings you back. It's 2014. Yep. <laughs> it wasn't like just get the ball over the plate. You know, it was located. It had movement. It was fast. She was in command. Look at that. I mean, the fastball was into the mid-60s. Everything was right at it. Complete game for Monet right there. We, were, we had a really good view of that one, Rab. We were sitting right here. And a lot of them. That one gets by, and now to third base in a 0-0 game in the bottom of the second. Goes Owen Brown. 
So he's 60 feet away. It's another one of those hey, games that go. one feels that like a again. lot. We got to get hard 60. Any way we can get it, right? Hard 60. Maybe a run that wins this. Peyton Drake trying to drive that run in. Swings and misses. And it's 0-2. By the way, Ella Bruning, who's really good and really tough. She took a foul ball yeah. off her knee behind the plate today. And it looked like she's not going to play anymore. She stayed in she's there. She'll be here tomorrow at 3. She's in tears saying, keep me in. Huh. Do not take me out. Oh, and two got Drake to chase. They'll strand the runner at third. And a very different Sanal Chari this night than his first night. Look oh, out. boy. Look out. Wheels are rolling. The wheels Sunset are rolling. Sunset cruise, baby. That is. <laughs> Julie, the cruise director. Where's Captain Steubing? The Little League World Series. We're going to do a little papa shot. Out on the hill. What do you think, party people? Should we do this? All right, I'm gonna be your backboard. I'm gonna be your basket. Let's go. Let's have some fun out here. Go on, go on. Oh, oh, I missed it. That's my bad. Go on. Oh, yes, I hear it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that's the bike. Oh, that one was a little high. Oh, good one. Oh, yeah. That's my other one. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Yeah. Solid. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it to me there. Oh, yeah. How many have we got? How many? All at once. How many do we have? Yeah, oh, fire. What does the score say? What does the score say? Same time. 20. 25. Come on. Keep going. Dunk it. Yeah. Dunk it. Go. Get it. Oh. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Sunset Cruise suddenly went awry. Oh. What happened to my, like, sweet Sunset Cruise? I was just coming up here for a little break. OK. I Okay, great. great. <laughs> that was fun, huh? Great, great, <laughs> great. Where's the ice cream? <laughs> I think they got up to 60 points. They did. Julie's now <laughs> napping. Up. I think she's getting thrown down the hill. Shut it down. <laughs> Ryder Oswalt bats seventh for Washington, and that one is a little high from Hunter. Top of the third in a 0-0 game. One ball, two strikes. Mm -hmm. Hunter Neppel picks up another strikeout, and that is his second in a row, third of the game. It happens at this level too, Kyle. Pitcher kind of settles in, right? I mean, you can see it, comfort level. Curveball. Yeah, he's been comfortable with everything so far. Working quick, too. That's just 25 pitches for the first seven outs. Here's my guy. Walter Steinbach, four foot seven, 68. Let's see, get into one. There you go. Ah, line out. Your guy, Rav, and I'll tell you what, he had a play in regionals. It was so amazing to score the first run for Washington. You see the line drive swing here right. Waiting the glove, Ablot. He did it. Keanu Reeves stop, mid-step, dodged the catcher, and able to score and get Washington on the board <laughs> in a tie ball game. Jackson Wheeler. See, this is the play that you were describing, and unfortunately, look at this. Yeah. And he scored. It was so sweet. I mean, <laughs> he was hosed, right? And this game was scored. It was late. It fired up the team and obviously oh. ultimately ended up sending him here to I'm glad sport. we showed it because you did it in the booth, but we didn't have the camera <laughs> shot. So I, I saw the description. <laughs> <laughs> Our producer Eric Mosley just saved me because I was like, this was so sweet. I needed to try to show you. Let's let Steinbach show you. Bring your pick. Great seat with a little back rub going. I'm in on that. A little harder, please. Missed the spot. One and two. Strike three. Got to throw it down, and we do. Quick inning there for Hunter Nepple. Pitchers do seamless. Good news is Sanal Chari had his back turned because when Jackson Wheeler threw that ball down a second, he just about drilled him in the back. He didn't see it, and we're all good as he throws the first pitch for a strike. He struck out. So far tonight, a little different game than the last time. Three.
This is Gio Johnson who made the great catch which got this team into the World Series. A diving catch in right field in a one run game. Had he not made the play, we were at the very least tied and who knows if they were going to end up winning that game and getting here. Oh. Coach told him before the tournament, hey, I want you to play outfield. And, you know, you got to understand, growing up, Little League, you know, you, you never want to play the outfield. And he's like, Coach, come on. Like, what did I do? And he's like, no, you're going to make a big play. They're hitting the ball out there. And sure enough, not one but two big-time catches. Go get it, Waller. There you go, little one-hand piece. <laughs> We got it going now. A little hot dog hat. Hard to find. He must have actually brought that with him, right? The hot dog hat? Yeah, have you seen him around here? I haven't. I would be wearing one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Foudy would be too. But Chari, out of my way, he'll fire. Oh! oh. <laughs> Poor Walt, he went all Statue of Liberty on us. Stuck, stuck <laughs> that glove up there. He the stuck the landing. It didn't stick. He stuck the landing. The problem is it just popped out. <laughs> it, you didn't play. Good things happen. Tough play for the left hander. Gets his body turned. Humboldt. Just out of there. Look, Ump, I got it. And the Ump's like, yeah, no, you don't. Play by the lefty on the mound, Chari, though, to get to that spin around. Spun his whole body before he made that throw. It's the only thing that gave him a chance. You got 10 swings and misses tonight, so sent off Chari to Owen Ablett. That one is laced to center. Runner's going to get back to first quick. No, no throw. Hard hit by Owen Ablett, but a nice play by Kellen Kinney in center. That's why you have some good players in the outfield. That was a shot. I was going to say the same thing. That is the toughest play as an outfielder, too. The one hit right at you. A lot of times you'll see an outfielder freeze, and Kellen Kinney has shown up, plays over his head in the gap. But watch, watch his reacts. A lot of times you'll see an outfielder go back or the wrong way. He makes that look easy. How many times have you seen a line drive hit that hard and make it to the wall because the outfielder misreads it? A lot. To answer the question, a lot. <laughs> yes. Cohen Raider flew out to right his first time up. So Logan Roush gets ready. This is going to go deep to right. Roush going over. He can't get it. It's going to go into the corner. And coming in is the first run, Dyer. And we are holding up. Raider at third. Ground rule double, I think, was called. We may send Braden Dyer back to third base and a huge break for Washington. Whoa, 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 Chris, Chris, Chris. Can I ask him? He gave him third. He was at second base. Take a look at it. We lose sight of it as it buries in that corner. Oh, oh no, that's gone. And Dyer is scoring easy. Oh, easy. Because two outs, he was off and running. I mean, his head was down, and I don't care if the stop sign was up. He was running right through. And they are going to allow Dyer to come in double to Ablett, right play. No, now they're sending him back to third base. Yeah, it has to be. That's the ground rule. But you saw, I mean, he was a foot away from third, and the ball was rolling away from Logan Roush. <laughs> Come here. Hey, that's a hose job. Make him pay. A lot like last night. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, regardless it's of not, his opinion about it, it is the ground the, rule. Absolutely the correct call. It is absolutely the correct It's now, not right. You know it, I know it. Who cares? We'll get another one. Would he have scored? Yes, he would have scored. But that's the rule. Yeah. That's, and, it, and in the end, it anyway. is right. Yes. On our net yes. that's a swing. You certainly appreciate the fact that he's upset about it, but you are trying to teach the rules and the rule is we've seen it everywhere ball bounces over you stay at third base ball goes under you stay at third base it's not a discretion where a fan would reach over and you'd have fan interference and then it's the umpire's discretion so two outs 0 and one to hunter nepple challenged him that's in the hole that's going to get through that's going to bring dyer in for sure raider gets waved he's in 
And back to first, diving is Hunter Neppel. So now it's 2-0 in favor of Nebraska. Neppel, big home run hitter against Hawaii to tie it up. Comes up huge to put two. And I love this because you feel the controversy. You feel the team getting upset. Don't matter. All that's a race. They score two. Huge, another huge hit for Hunter Neppel. Right guy came up at the right time for him. And now Owen Brown steps in with Neppel, the pitcher, helping his own cause. <laughs> Neppel has been so good on the mound. He's thrown just 30 pitches through three. Brown, that's laced in the left field. That's going to get down. And the bats have woken up here for Nebraska. Fourth hit of the inning. How about this? That's all with two outs, too. You had two outs, runner on first base, and ground rule double down the right field line. Single that scores two. Single again right there from Owen Brown. How about location? This is not a strike. You're talking ankle shot. Go down and get it one hand. Your lead hand. I love this. I love when we see teams aggressive early. Get to that down below the knees. And both of his hits today have been down in the zone. The double his first time up was down in the zone. Same approach. That time single was down in the zone. So what do you do next time Owen Brown comes up, pitcher? She made we elevate, elevate a, little a little bit. bit. He's got that thing. Owen Brown a double and a single. He's on. Quick meeting with Sanoff. All this has occurred on the last seven pitches. Now Jude McCoy. Off speed pitch. He swings at it and he misses strike one. Nebraska one and one. Washington one and one in this 2021 Little League World Series. Winner stays alive. Get loud. <laughs> get, get into it. I know we don't have the amount of fans, but I'll tell you when you're talking the amount of noise. And not just him. <laughs> the 250 fans, family, and friends that are here for each team have been just as loud. Did we get another one in the hole? That Ooh, smothered, that and that may save a run. Yes, really good job by Eli Jones to get over there and keep it on the infield. But right now, Nebraska's fighting the holes. Four consecutive hits, loads the bases. Nice job getting to this. Being able to knock it down, we've seen that just automatically score runs right now because of how deep the outfield is. So it's not so much making the play sometimes, kids. It's just getting there, getting your glove on it, save a run. So Roush in right, Kinney in center. Sula Tion in left have all moved in a little bit. And here's Ben Wibbles. DW, that's a swinging bunt. Tough play. Nobody's going to pick it up. And the ball is still left there. Now thrown behind the runner, and they will get the runner trying to that dive back scores. into third. That Owen scores. Brown. Well, they did everything but pick up the baseball. Nebraska got three. Whew. Take a breath. We'll take a break. Hey, Julie, I just came from practice and I saw your cart. How you doing? Hey, Eli! How you doing? Honey, I'm a star. Perfect timing, because guess what? I need someone to play cornhole with. Oh, I got you. What's your favorite sport outside of baseball? I'm really good at football. Okay. Tackle football, I'm really good at it. Okay, as long as you didn't say cornhole. You got this. Oh! <laughs> yes! That's three. I heard you like fishing. What yep. is the biggest fish? So the oh, biggest you've ever caught a 40 pound barracuda. It's bigger than the board. It's like huge. Do you have a hidden talent? Yes, I do. Okay, you want to see it? So you go like this. Yeah. And then you put it behind your teeth and squish together. So it goes like this. So it looks like you have a hole in your teeth. No way. All right, last question before you throw this. What are we going to name the golf car? <gasps> I think we should name it Cap Car. Yeah. Because it has a cap, which is the hat, and then a car. So I oh. think we should name Cap Car. Cap Car. Yeah. Solid. All right. Bye, Julie. Gotta go. Okay. See you, Eli. Thank you. I'll be working on my cornhole. All right. Cap cart. I like it. Cap cart. Cap and crunch. And when you leave, Julie, you end up at the plate, which is where Eli is. Eli's thinking about just leaving the yard. He's done that before. Got a no-hitter, and instead he hits a grounder in the hole. Oh, glove work. High throw. What a catch by Cohen Raider. I didn't think he'd ever get his glove on it. 
Let's see if there was a turn made by Eli. I don't think so. Well, he's not. In fact, he reached his hands up to say, go ahead, you tag me. I, I didn't make a turn. This is incredible in the hole, huh? Just to get to it. Yeah, I mean, he got no chance to make the play, but just to glove it. Probably one you want to put in your pocket. I don't yeah. know if there's a reason to throw it across right there, but just for Cohen Raider to get to that is good. Eli Jones, again, when this team from Washington goes, he's somewhere in the middle of it yeah. every single time. They call him the Energizer Bunny. It's out a little bit with Julie there. <laughs> one of their best hitters, and now it's little, little Logie, as he calls himself. Logan Roush, I hit singles. That's what they want right here. Start to make their way back on Nebraska. He's been to Italy, saw the Coliseum. Now he's been to Williamsport and seen Lomedy and played on it. Mm. Little Logie didn't like that call too much. Now it's 0-2. Love the flow coming out from the backside there. All the cool kids are doing it, Raph. Yeah. They can. <laughs> mm. That's a pretty good spot now. Yes. That's a pretty good one. Right back to the shortstop. We'll have no play. Boy, looked like Cohen Raider was thinking second base, and then he said, I can't find the ball, and then he was late throwing the first, and lo and behold, now the best hitter for Washington steps up with two men on. Two strikes. This is what I love. Look at the, just the half swing. I am just going to put the ball in play. Why is contact so important, especially at this age? It makes the defense have to make a play. Good showdown here with Nepal and Kellen Kinney. Mm. <laughs> love it. And then he tells the coach, I know. Calm down. I got it. I get one, coach. I get one. Before he even says it, I know. <laughs> Very inside. He's saying to hit him. The coach like, no, 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 no. We don't want. We rather you be up there, son. Yep. Big space out there in left center, and that one comes back up this way. Caleb Reiner's out there is hugging the line, and Braden Dyer in center is right up the middle. There's. There's a lot of real estate out there between the left fielder and center fielder. Similarly, right and center, there's a lot of real estate. The head one, two. Oh. Nepal not afraid to pound the inside. Yeah. Smart, because this guy gets his hands and arms extended. He gets some issues. It's smart, but a lot of times it, it takes you until you get a little bit older to feel comfortable throwing that pitch. Oh. I like what I'm seeing in that dugout. And he got a good pitch to hit, and he fouled it off. Still in Richard. on his fists. Alan Kenny hit three homers in the state tournament. And that was in a game, and then they intentionally walked him on the final at bat. Wants to be an NFL quarterback. 3-2. Oh. Wow, ball four down, and we are loaded now with no one out. Get the bat, buddy, get the bat. So we got action here at Lomity right now. And the big fella, Sanoff Chari. <laughs> Players only meeting on the night. Players only. The catcher With taking the catcher, control. yeah. Owen Brown, Brown said everybody come on in. Like that. He's leading it. He's telling everybody. It's not just his pitcher. He's communicating. He's talking. And there's no bigger influence than your peers. You need to calm down, especially. So Brownie has his meeting on the mound. That's the Salvador Perez wannabe, and that's exactly what Salvador would do. So how are we going to do here with the bases loaded and Chari up? Mitchell, right here. 
He was going to swing. I don't care where the ball was. Sanatari <laughs> was swinging. Well, she ready to pull his uh, Cameron Thorning moment or Gavin Weir moment. We've seen two big left-handed homers today. And instead, oh, it gets by the second baseman. Runner from second had a hold, and he's going to be held up there, and he had no choice. Eli Jones is in. Logan Rouse waited because it became a slow motion movie. Jude McCoy went for it. The ball went under his glove, and then everybody moved up 60 feet. Well, you got to make sure right there, too. I mean, line drive nobody out. The last thing you want to do is get doubled off. And so all the base runners hold, end up advancing 60 feet. Washington is on the board on the single to right by Sanaf Chari. James Ort, this is a good Good swing right there. He sends that to the screen. Good hitter here. See that a lot. Hockey players, really good baseball players. Quick hands, good golfers too a lot of the time. A one. Tough pitch right on the corner, 0 and 2. Ready to watch the Seattle Kraken on ESPN. We a little, little hockey action coming up. Good pitch on the inside corner. What a job by Hunter Neppel. That's a big, big out to get. You talked about it just a minute ago, Rab. Just the comfort level of pitching inside. And this one right here just locks him up. Fastball on the inside part of the plate. James Ort just can't pull the trigger. Coming back a little bit too. Yeah. Low three quarters action kind of has an arm side run to it. First out of the inning right there is a strikeout. Now you're one pitch away. JJ Hamilton's going to bat for the first time. Everyone's got the best flow on the team. That's kind of a running thing going on for every single team. JJ Hamilton wins that prize. They call him the Mad Hatter. Red hair coming out underneath his helmet. Oh, that one gets by. Here Taylor, comes from third, Taylor. Roush. Oh, right boy. there. Right there. Everybody will move up 60. And now it's three to stop. two. Yeah, in backstop. Ball got stuck in the backstop. You heard it. So it's three two. And now two runners in scoring position. Didn't see this coming the way that Nepple had managed to make it through the first three innings without any issues. Breathe and be easy, man. Just relax. Have fun out here. Guys, so what? They got two runs. Let's get out of here. Back one. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's go hit. With no more balls. damage. Let's go. Okay? Go. Hey, we got to be one twos. We got to be active. How many ounces we got? One. One. So what's that any mean? Bag and then one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, no, any bag. No. We don't Looking have a guy back. at first. Go one. Back. We don't have go a guy at first. Right. Hey, Check runners. Hey, get the hey, out. Okay, let's, really let's pick up an out. Really got to snap it out quick because she knows Hey, let's pick up an out here, okay? Hey, keep doing what you're doing, man. Keep throwing strikes. Go. Here we go. on three. One, two, three. Hey, what was that? Right. While you ask your players, like, what do we got? What's the situation? Any base. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, there's nobody over there. Try again. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we'll get the message to James Ort, too, that the Kraken will be on ESPN Plus October 23rd. Hey, looking back, go one. We still have time. We've got wheels are spinning here. We're going to go for a special pinch runner, get Sanath Chari off second base. And Sula Ratian will go in there and run for him. So Tion down there at second. Let's get J.J. Hamilton in the box here. It's been a while. Neppel's pitch count was really really good and now he's throwing 48. You get 85. Oh. He's thrown 19 pitches this inning. Choking way up. Oh. That's a little high. Two balls and a strike. So a lot of folks did a lot of different things during quarantine. Our buddy JJ 
learned and perfected the grilled cheese. But he did. That's a life skill. It sure is. It was almost a swinging kind of bunker. Right yeah, his hands keep climbing up that bat. He started with a little choked up, and then with each pitch, just like, you know, and you're right, that last one, just a half swing. Put the ball in play. Don't be surprised if the runners are going on down angle. Two balls, two strikes. Here it comes to JJ. A little pepper. Yeah. He's going to do everything he can just to try to get it in play. Got two older brothers, William and Oliver. Timothy is nine for four boys in the Hamilton family. He's out playing catch. Uh -huh, yeah. <laughs> Lita. <laughs> two, two, does what he wanted to, pops it to first base. It's caught, and the runners don't tag. That's not an easy play that Owen Ablett just made. And because of the difficulty on it, it wasn't something that the second baseman was going to get to either. Really hard play. I thought this was going to drop in. I mean, this kind of felt like a little chip shot right onto the green. Owen no, Ablett says, nope. It's the drop step, too. Him going back on that the right way. He didn't backpedal. You see so many infielders backpedal. They fall. They drop it. Nice move. Here comes another one of our favorites, Sawyer Todd. Apple want to be sure a ball doesn't get by his catcher, Owen Brown, with that tying run now, 60 feet away at third base. <laughs> On the ground, Nepple tackled it. And he gets up and throws Todd retired. They do get a couple. Strand two. Good game going on right here. It's 3-2. Nebraska over Washington. Welcome back to ESPN's coverage of the Little League World Series. It's presented by T-Mobile. Little League Sandlot Fun Days. This is a good idea. Player-led unstructured opportunity for local Little League programs. You give the kids some fun, relaxed activity, baseball, softball. The kids make the rules, they make the lineups, they make the calls, get the call timeout, get to take rests, give them the bats, balls, field, and get out of the way. Learn more today at littleleague.org slash Sandlot Fun Days. Speaking of fun, Foudy time. I'm, uh, you know, I'm just hanging out in the, uh, in the center field in CK's. I don't know if you can see me. But CK wow. has a shed out here. <laughs> I don't know if he's named it yet, but I'm going to call it the She Shed for now. <laughs> CK, tell us about this place. Seriously. It's the first year in these new digs. It's the best. I love it in here. We had to decorate, you know, make it homey. We're going to be here for two weeks. <laughs> We've got welcome signs. He's got a Picasso <laughs> picture in the corner. We have um, a wreath, a welcome Wreath as That's well. A nice touch. What do we got for furniture out there? We got a recliner. Yeah, like a, we, got a fridge? A recliner we got a recliner. Fridge. A fridge. We oh do. yeah, we do. Yeah, I was hoping there were some treats or snacks or something, but I'm not sure if that's. I I don't know. Oh look, yeah. there happens to be some Jolly Jolly Ranchers. Ranchers. Okay, oh, Apple, my favorite thing. I might stay out here for a while. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow, Jules. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Kelly killing it with his camera, too. That, by the way, the shot on the left is Chris Kelly. The other thing that probably has to happen is Julie's going to have to do the camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Chris, going to let her take just over? Just to see how that looks. No one wants to see that. <laughs> on, the, on the third, Oswald takes his time. Low throw. He took too much time. Caleb Reiner speed it out. One extra hop. One extra hop right there. If he gets rid of it on the first one, somebody throws out Reiners, but he's getting down the line well. First at bat right there for Caleb. He's standing on first base, but nobody out. All right, here's Double J, Jude Johnson, the right fielder. Oh. Orton was crashing. Our guy Walter Steinbach quickly over to cover first base. Love him. Yep. My favorite dudes over the last 15 so years have been the second baseman. Yeah. Is that your position? Yeah, so. What are you playing? 
No. I was playing, look out, I play third base more than anything. But I, they, they just, there's something about the second base position. One of the gritty guys, they make a lot of good plays. Today's first game, Mediger was ridiculous. Yeah. Shortstop obviously make great plays, and they do every year. But, you know, there's something about this an endearing quality to the second baseman. It was Cam Thorning, the home run hitter, was playing second base. Yeah, there you go. Straight steal. Reiners is going to be standing. Good read on that. He was off and running. And another one of those rare straight steals at the Little League World Series. You can't leave until it crosses the plate, basically until the catcher has it. So now nobody out in Jude Johnson is going to try to move him over here in the bottom of the fourth. On the ground is short. He's going to throw right ahead of the runner, and he's out. Good play. Good read, Eli Jones. I run the ball's right there. And that's a good call right, by his coach, too. He did not need to go after he had stolen the base. Reiners just took off. Easy decision. That base run, I mean, the, the read right here is which side of your body is that baseball on? If it's on the right side, you head back to second base. On the left side, then he, I mean, it's a little bit different literally because these bases are shorter, but generally the left side on to third base. Ball was on his right, just a little bit too aggressive for Caleb. Braden Dyer, he thought about pulling it back and just going chop at it, but instead he popped it back. Contact, but fake bunt, bring that infield in the corners and charge. He's got a lot better chance if he can put that ball in play. But now, Braden Dyer at an 0 2 hole. Love it all here. You got Braden Dyer at 4 foot 10, 85 big ones, and Sanaf 5'10, 160, giving up a whole foot here. Beauty of baseball. Uh, on the corner, and he's gone. Good pitch by Sanaf Char. He's been very good tonight. Not walking, guys. He struck out five. Yeah. Owen Ablett, the first baseman. Oh. Didn't miss by much. Jackson Wheeler behind the plate. Giving a look. All these Nebraska guys will take a pretty aggressive lead at first base. Aggressive with the, like, I'm going to hang out here and dance a little bit. A little bit of that. Tease you. Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Our guy diving back, back in. to the base. Don't get it, Jude. I, hey, look, if I don't come back with a dirty uni, I haven't played. Dude got, got that out of his system. He was going. He probably, I mean, I don't know how you didn't hear the ump yelling foul, but he was going. He hoped that maybe he wouldn't notice. <laughs> he just kept going. Not me. No, nothing going on. Nothing to see here. Chris Rutz has been barking tonight, doing a good job behind home plate. Got a 2 1 count to Owen Ablett. Curry's best pitch. And he elevates that fastball. Off speed, he likes it for a low, changes the eye level. Washington crowd getting loud, hoping for a punch out. No, good swing. Fouled good, it off, you. stayed alive. I think it's got to be one of my favorite things of Little League is watching the catchers, two strikes when they want the fastball up, and they're pretty much standing. You know where that target is. Midwest champions, they beat South Dakota, who we have seen get off to a 2-0 start 
in the regional championship game in the Midwest. Top two teams from each region make it to Williamsport this year. And now another 2-2. Two -two. Took something off it and he picked up strikeout number six. Sanath Chari doing his job. Washington right in this game. 3-2. Cracker? Do you eat? Or a firecracker? Some sweet, something to eat at the baseball game, probably some sweet. Caramel popcorn? I feel like I know what it is now. It's a great snack, and uh, best thing about it, you get a little prize in the bag. Oh, is this like popcorn kind of? Food, right, in the bag? It's like popcorn? Like it's a caramel, and it has like a nut in it. I could eat about 10 bags of Cracker Jacks. Cracker Jack, yes, it's the thing they throw on the ground and goes the Cracker Jack is kind of, to me, just caramel popcorn. Take me out to the crowd, buy me some peanuts, and... Cracker Jacks. There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got it. Oh, that was genius right there. Oh. Really, that, and it was stuck for a while. I mean, it was ruminating. Like, yeah. Got something up here. Cracker Jack. It's also apparently huh? something you throw down on the ground and it just yep. explodes. It cracks. <laughs> it makes sense. sense. Cracking noises. Cracker Jack. Here comes Harrison Militello. And that pitch is high. For substitute players from Washington, Nebraska just brought one. One ball, one strike. Neppel in good shape with the pitch is 56. Fifth inning, they lead it by one. Looks like he is in line if he can continue to throw strikes to finish the game out. That's going to be a hit. Try to avoid everything, and it in fact went off the bat into fair play. Yeah, that'll buzz the old fingers a little bit. One down. All right, what do we got? We got a schedule tomorrow that looks like this. Three o'clock Eastern time. Abilene, Texas, Tom's River, New Jersey, Hank, Aaron, Brackett, and then at 7.30 Eastern Time, Kids Cast Game, New Hampshire and Oregon. They may play some of that in the booth. Wouldn't blame them. Two games on the Little League schedule tomorrow. Here's Price Eden, the last of the substitute players for Washington, and a slow roll, a lot of spin, a lot of spin, a lot of spin. Jude McCoy, you can see that one coming. He's, yep. he's cracker jacking right now. It's, it's hard for an infielder on that one, too, because your first instinct is to charge as fast as you possibly can, but you just kind of got to wait for this one to settle down a little bit. First one goes that way, second one goes the other way. Jude's fired up, but that's, that's a tough one right there. And a big base runner for Washington. We got one on, one out, turn the lineup over, and here's Eli Jones. Singled his last time up. He was ready for that one. He jumped on that first pitch. Love that. You see it, you like it, you go for it. He's kind of hitter, too, that can hit everything. And when you know you can hit everything, you swing at everything. <laughs> Eli Jones is that guy, that last one up right over his head. Still got a piece. Yep. Oh, wow. Good scoop for sure. Owen Brown. Now it's starting to get a little stressful. The 1 1. Signaling to their left fielder, Caleb Reiners, reminding him to tie his shoe. Yes, that was <laughs> no, this is huge because, sorry, he thought it was 0-2. And I, I saw Eli Jones, actually, Rich Todd, noticed, hey, it's 1-1. 2-1. One, one. Sorry, 2-1. He, he thought the third thought, pitch was a strike. He yeah. thought there were two strikes on him. No, the ump was very loud. The ump's been great, but he called it a ball. Sometimes you hear it, and it's like, did he just call it a ball? But maybe it was a strike, so what was it? Ball. And he just said play, sounded all alike. 
2-1 on the ground to second. Chance to redeem himself. And they'll just get one. Good job by Jude McCoy. Get that, that lead runner. And a great job by Colin Radar, the shortstop, to hold onto it. And it's something you don't see a whole lot. A lot of times they like to complete the play. But Jude McCoy, after the error, does a nice job turning this. And look at Cohen just hold it. You know you got it all in front of you. You can see it. Get the out. Strike number one. Big Logan Roush right now, reached Logan. on an error, you lined it, out. His first time Logan up, makes contact. Right now, Oof, on the corner, tough strike. 0 and 2. His favorite movie, a league of their own. It's one too. Changed up on him and he struck out. No crying in baseball. No crying in baseball. Mm. That's a change up right there, and Logan was out ahead of it. We're going bottom five. Jess Mendoza, Kyle Peterson, the Foutster, and Carl Ravage back with you after this. Major League Baseball, you'll be able to see that Tuesday, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, ESPN. Check the standings right now. The Los Angeles Dodgers, two and a half behind the San Francisco Giants. The Padres in a two and eight tailspin. This is their time, because the wild card race shows the Padres currently dealing with a Cincinnati Reds team that is charging. They are one game behind Cincinnati. Dodgers lead the wild card, like way out in front, nine and a half. So they're getting in. The question is, will the Padres, the Reds, don't count the Cardinals out yet? That's tomorrow night, 10 Eastern time. One app, one tap. It's available on ESPN, Deportes, and the app. Raider on the ground. Jones really good at this, although he takes his time because he can. Fires over to first for the out. Would you show off that cannon? I would agree. And, that, and when you ask that sort of question, well, why would you throw that ball from the hole that Raider had? Because you can. Like, because you can. Let people Look at him. see. I'm just going to clap in the glove one time and fire. Strike. We got a little magic potion over there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I got to go get more. <laughs> right here, it's all part of the game. <laughs> you just throw it. Yeah, well, Thank you, Jackson. I'm playing a game with you. Whose idea was that? <laughs> Come on. I don't want to ride on the golf cart. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom five. And here's Hunter Nepal. He got some nice oh. catch by Jackson Wheeler. Just a little bit outside. And oh, a little fist bump there. That's classy. Appreciate the work of the catcher. Hunter Nepple fist bump. Jackson Wheeler. 1-1. One, one. Mm. Out of play. They're still going. Oh, they haven't sat down all game. Well, when you have a hot dog on your head, these things happen. Oh, well, Foss. Chase is one. <laughs> wow, okay. We'll elevate, and that's what we did. No high five on the way out either. <laughs> a little different reaction to that one. That was a good catch, but I, sorry, I already did it once. I'm not going to do it again. Climb the ladder right there. Snop charge is trying to keep it right here. Keep it a one-run game. Look at Wheeler behind the plate. I mean. He was standing all the way up, wasn't it? Straight up, yeah. this is where I got to be, where I want you to throw it. He listened. Well, here's Owen Brown. He's got a double and a single tonight. And remember, those two hits came on three irons. Ball's down, down near the ankles, and he delivered. So let's see where Chari pitches him. And we're going to go up. That's a little smarter. And he threw a strike. Owen, two. Here we go, Brownie. Here we go. Mm. Not getting cheated, is he? That's a win. Are you kidding me? Like eight autographs on there. 
Is he looking at me? Am I on here? She's locked in. Goal! Mm, got him. Really well pitched game from Sanath Chari. He'll get a little love from Coach Raider as he goes back to his dugout. We are through five. Chari and company need a run to keep this thing going. Like the whole thing. The Little League World Series on ESPN is presented by T-Mobile, leader in 5G. Atta boy, go get that twist. Mm -hmm. Go get that swirl. Nope. Chocolate vanilla, S-W-I-R-L. Three Eastern time, two games tomorrow. Tom's River, New Jersey. The Frazier boys will be back. Abilene, Texas. Ella Bruning and company, three Eastern, 7.30 Eastern time, New Hampshire and Lake Oswego, Oregon. Tristan Lucier, the Lucier brothers. You can see some action in that game. 3-2, we start the six. Ball number one. Washington needs base runners. They need a one to keep this theme going. And this guy can do it with one swing, Kellen Kinney. Like he's, he's got that look. Oh! <laughs> that was it right there. This one right off the mask. No one brown behind the plate. This is why catchers, mm -hmm. everyone wants to try it. Not a lot, not many stay. No, never fun to see it either, especially when they take it square off the helmet. The equipment is tremendous, but you're still taking a shot off the mask. One ball, one strike. Washington down a run. Winner stays alive at the Little League World Series. One ball, two strikes. How about Hunter Neppel tonight? It's been great. 68 pitches, gets 85. So I'm giving up two hits. Both hits in that fourth inning when Washington scored their only two runs. This one is playable. It is sky high. Braden Dyer makes the play. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I hear you. That's just tremendous. That's tremendous. Ouch, man. Chari on the ground. Nepple's got time, and he will get the second out at first base. Down to their final out. The Sammamish Washington Club. We need rally cups. We need every rally thing we can get going. Certainly capable. He feels like to me the biggest home run threat they have. James Ort, the third, he's the first baseman. And a little equipment malfunction. Good, do a little in my side surgery job, like on the fish. throat guard there. You look like a fisherman. <laughs> Is there much fishing in Nebraska, though? Yeah, and they took our poles when we came here. Oh, These no. boys are crushed. <laughs> Absolutely crushed. We'll just go with one of these for now. Oh. There you go. What kind of nod you call that? That's uh. Dustin special. That's my uh, Jimmy Rig Palomar. Oh, all right, man. <laughs> all right, so we tied a little bow there, and we got the mask ready to go. Nipple ready to deal to James Ort. Two down. Foul ball to play. Mark ball, Mark ball. We'll get a belly roll if he hits a homer. The belly rolls only happen after home runs. And the 0-1. Oh. High one ball, one strike. 
James 5'6", 121. He plays football, he plays hockey, and he plays baseball. Ball! Down. Down. Two balls, one strike. He'd rather win a Stanley Cup. If he had his druthers, he'd rather win a Stanley Cup than a World Series, he said. Trying to stay alive in this series. 2-1, Ooh. big rip at it. And it's foul. Out of play. Like the swing. Outfield, he respects him. They are way deep. Center field just about on the track. Here it comes. Off speed pitch inside. He's seeing it big. He saw that at the hand. Didn't even flinch. Three and two. What do you say here? Challenged him. He swings and misses. That's going to do it. And Nebraska's going to hang on and win it by a final score of three to two to stay alive in the 2021 Little League World Series. Last night it was a three run home run by Hunter Neppel that kept the game going got it into extra innings so I would come back and put an eight spot up and win that game but tonight it was his right on this Washington team they're going home right now but Eli Jones the no hitter the memories that they're yeah. going to have little Logie hitting singles they battled in this one they were great a little say goodbye to Walter Steinbach and company heading back to Sammamish Washington enjoy the school year and best of luck to those kids. What a summer they provided for themselves, their family, their friends, and that community. Nebraska heads out to touch the bust of Howard Lomity. Oh my God. It's a struggle getting up that wall. But they win it three to two. Amazing, two very well played games on this field. Really well pitched, great defense. And both games actually took a shorter period of time than the rain delay that we had today. <laughs> we'll wrap things up. One game still going on. That's where we'll send you. But we'll be back. Talk about what we saw today and tonight. 3-2 the final. Nebraska stays alive.